All right, assalamu alaikum everyone and welcome back to bitcoin update today so bitcoin again it's getting on, on my nerves at this point you know uh, from yesterday i legit thought that this was it okay this move up i thought it was actually it and uh, we might actually see bitcoin try to take off from here and try to push to the upside uh, but there's no secret that I've told you in yesterday's video that there's a lot of interpretation of this sideways movement It could actually be a distribution here just to go down. Okay, it can actually be there are no guarantees about that uh, But there's this one other resistance that was actually broken after a very very long time so they actually did break it out a little bit and uh, Yeah, so the issue that happened here. I'm going to tell you is the following a break happened this ended up being a wick okay and it's just like i always say whenever you retest you don't want this one to end up being a wick this was a wick unfortunately when the day was closed when the when that 24 hour candle was actually closed it closed into becoming in a a wick to the upside and then you shoot all the way to the downside so you can see that the buyers were pushing the prices the sellers stepped in here and they pushed the prices back down and this one ended up being the bearish candle now not only do you have a bearish candle but you have one two three red candles which is also three black rows which means more continuation to go out to the downside so here we go no 36 k's and a failure of a retest okay simple put it is what it is on the chart now i was actually putting in a trade here for a three percent risk which i actually definitely lost uh, but the thing is as i told you before i think if bitcoin is coming down to 30k that's not going to be good for me and yeah so you came down here this is where the stop losses were you came down you took it out who knows okay it's bitcoin by the end of the day a stupid coin you can actually go back up here and try to move up again you, you never know about these scenarios uh, but the, the thing to me is, it does look to, to me on the daily candles that the retest is unfortunately failing. And I do want to see on the 4-hour time frame as well if we're making in any bearish divergence as well. So if I do go onto the 4-hour time frame here, yeah, so you do have Bitcoin actually that has a regular bearish divergence. So look at the prices moving a little bit higher and you do have the divergence down there. That's the reason why the retest is basically failing sometimes i don't remember to look at the rsi i wish i saw it yesterday and i could have told you that you know what uh we have a bearish divergence like this so basically whenever you make f uh, you know breakouts here they can actually end up being a fake out and you can see bitcoin try to push down once again now if things go as expected on the rsi we might be looking at the rsi coming uh flashing all the way down to these levels here and then you can actually just drop a little bit more. And what I'm talking about is if you're sitting on the 31, 34 levels, you can actually end up dropping all the way to 16 level. So you do have like a 50% drop on the RSI. And that can actually also mean that Bitcoin comes down, take the stop losses and come down and retest this level here, which is almost $27,000, which you broke out of. Yes, there could be a dirty retest as well. So if you look, if I told you something here, so you do have this little bit of place that you broke out of. So one touch there, second touch, break to the upside and maybe come down and retest this for the dirty retest because you never retested uh, after breaking out. So yeah, 27,000 K can actually be an untapped level. Unfortunately, it is what it is. And that's it for this update on Bitcoin. Just a quick one. I'm going to see you in the next one. Hello, office.